Holly and welcome to the Proper Pineapple Podcast episode number whatever I put in the description box you guys. I'm going to be honest I never remember to check. Anyways if you are looking if you're new to the channel hey and thank you for stopping by if you are old to the channel I love you guys thanks for sticking around and putting up with my shenanigans. If you are looking for me anywhere on the internet uh, you can find me lots of places as the Proper Pineapple. Uh, Facebook the Proper Pineapple, Instagram, The Proper Pineapple. My website is thepropperpineapple.com. You can also find me on Ravelry as Miss MS Proper Pineapple. And we do have a Ravelry group where we do a lot of um, like our MCALs and our CALs and giveaways are gonna be going on over there too. So go check that out. It's just The Proper Pineapple. So go into groups, search Proper Pineapple. It'll come up. Um, and also, if you are uh, if you just want to get a hold of me, if you're a maker and you want to get a hold of me about donating to some of my giveaways I have or anything like that, or you just want to get a hold of me, you can email me directly at thepropperpineapple at gmail.com. That's usually the best way to make sure I get your message. But even then, sometimes it goes to spam and I don't get it. Well, okay. Now on to what you guys are here for, which is like the podcast of it, not me chitter-chattering about where on the, the interweb I am. But anywho... <laughs> This week has been crazy. If you guys watched my um, live, you will know that my family is going through some changes right now. We are getting rid of our house and moving into a camper and we are gonna travel full time around the United States and possibly Mexico, Canada, all of that, which would be great because I will get chances to meet a lot of you doing that. Uh, as far as the channel goes, nothing else will change. You will just notice here in the next month or so, the background will change. We haven't picked our camper up yet, but when it does happen, it will be a short, time before we were just whoop into the camper so one day I'll be like this and the next day I won't so <laughs> but I will still be here so you don't have to worry about that um I have a lot of stuff I want to talk to you about but first off let's just get right into the crochet knitting of it all let me ruin it for you I don't have any knitting today <laughs> so just crochet it's a mostly a crochet channel anyways but we do love knitters I love you guys I am a beginner slightly more advanced I'd say an advanced beginner knitter and I love it I just haven't had anything because I'm busy working on a bunch of other stuff sorry I just looked out my window because there was somebody walking down the street and I'm just waiting for my dogs to go like ape crazy <laughs> but I don't think they noticed the person so hallelujah thank you lord okay on to whips first whip I'm going to show you guys have been seeing this for a while because I started this on Christmas day it is in my wonderful Mario bag here by um, Kim from Chasing Acorns. You guys know I love her. You can find her over on um, Etsy at Chasing Acorns. Or the best way to get her bags is to go to the festivals here in Michigan. Um, I know she will be at the Ann Arbor, the Spring Ann Arbor Fiber Festival in Ann Arbor, Michigan here in just a couple of weeks. You should definitely go see her there. Um, she will most likely be at the Michigan Fiber Fest in August. And she'll probably be back at that spring one in October or the Ann Arbor one in October. She's always at the festivals. And I love her bags, right? So cute. So the project is, I don't know why I, I don't just like get this paper out ahead of time. <laughs> but I don't. It is, let me make sure it's focusing. There we go. The flat iron shawl by Tony of TL Crafts, uh, which, come on camera, focus on me. There I am. <laughs> so, um, she has started a podcast recently and I absolutely love her. You guys should go check her out on YouTube. Um, love this. This is essentially, if you guys watched recently, I made the Free Your Fade by Andrea Mowry. It is essentially the crocheted version of it, which is why I started it right around the same time because I wanted like a crochet and a knit. Well, I don't know why it took me forever forever to like get into this shawl it's really written wonderfully the pattern is great just for some reason I was like uh, I don't want to which is weird because I absolutely love it. I love the yarn colors I chose I love it and it's you have to do like color a for so long before you fade it into color B and then B and then Z you know what I mean? and it was taking forever to get through color A, but I finally did, you guys. I'm so excited. So I'm going to get it out here. Oh, first I'm going to show you the hook that I use, you guys. Now, this hook is a little expensive, and I'm not going to lie to you. It is, but it is totally worth it, and he does have ones that are a little cheaper than this. 
but this hook is by Nelson um, Woods on Etsy, but he also has Nelson's Woods, nelsonwoods.net. You can go right to his website where he has even more stunning hooks. They are amazing. And if you're in Texas and you're about to go to the DFW Fiber Festival, he is going to be there. And if you go there and you check out his hooks, please tell him Holly from the Proper Pineapple said hi because I love his hooks. Anyways, I'm going to hold up this paper so that it focuses easier, you guys, because sometimes the camera only wants to focus on my face. There we go. Look at this stunning hook. It's like a blue wood and a yellow wood. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love this. He... Come on, focus. Oh, you guys, my camera, the lighting is horrible. Why is it not? There we go. Focus. The lighting in my living room is really bad, so that is why my camera has trouble focusing. It's not the camera. It's the lighting. And I would work on it and fix it, except for I just told you we're moving. So we're just going to have to deal. Anyways, <clears throat> if you guys know, if you've been watching for a long time, I had originally gotten one of his hooks when a long time ago, about a, two years ago, and I loved it so much. And I accidentally dropped it and broke the wood. And I, like, just keep the handle and cry about it. But I'm going to be doing something with it here in a minute, which you'll see probably on another podcast or two. But I bought this one this year. This hook did cost me $85. I'm, not gonna, I'm, not, I'm gonna transparent here, you guys. I saved my money. I squirreled away a little cash, and I spent it on a hook. Yes, I know I could have bought a ton of yarn for $85, but it was worth it. Every project I do with this hook... It's just like butter. It, it just feels good in my hand. I love it, love it, love it. I'm going to get more. I, I set aside little bits of money so that I can get one of these because I love them and I will be getting more of them. And seriously, he has hooks ranging from 45 to, there was one hook on there. It must be some really crazy wood because it was like $139 for just the one hook. And I was like, dang. But anyways, <laughs> they're stunning. You guys go to his website. Um, I will link it down below. I know I say I will link stuff and sometimes I forget, but I'm trying to get better about that, you guys. So I will link it because he is awesome and you should check out his hook. And he sent it to me. I think he sends all his hooks this way now. Comes in these little plastic tubes so it's like safer in travel. And I keep it in it because when I throw it in my bag, I don't want it to get broken. Back to the project that I was working on, right guys? Because I just babbled on for five minutes about a hook. That's stunning. Anyways, so I started with this yellow and you start on the little end and go bigger, right? This yellow is called Banana, and I don't remember if it's Audine Wools or one of the other Knit Crate in-house brands, but it has cashmere in it, and it is stunning. But look at that yellow. That is right there about pretty true. It is stunningly bright. There we go, camera. It likes it if I scoot in for some reason. I love it, and it just seemed to take forever. You go, you go, you go, you go, 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 go. And if you can see right here is where the last place I showed you. I was right there. Then it took me forever to get this done. See that all that? But then look, I got this, my color too, which I, I can't get my yarn behind me. Sorry. I am so excited about you guys. I'm going to hold it up and then I'll show you the ball. But I striped in, give it a sec to focus. I striped in color too. Isn't that stunning? You guys. So I just told you about this. Well, this was from Knit Crate. Love it, and it's got cashmere, so it's super soft. This does not have cashmere. It's 100% wool, merino. I think it's superwash. I got the tag. Hold on. Just read the tag, Holly. Yes, superwash. It is the softest, like, plumpiest I've ever felt. I love it. And it is by... Um, and now, she told me they don't have a website, but you can usually... Like, I got this at Rhinebeck. This is Schweitzer... Schweitzer, Schweitzer Fiber Mill. But there is an email, or no, I guess there is a website down there. I guess there is. So, focus. There we go. You gotta go check it out. But let me show you the ball. This is my color, too. Oh, you guys. Look at this. I feel bad, like, putting stuff up here because I know in two seconds I'm gonna have to refocus my face. But look at this. It's got yellows and pinks and some purples and oranges and greens and... Hmm. You guys, this was what I called my unicorn at... Um, Rhinebeck. When I went to Rhinebeck, I did what I always do. And I suggest you do this if you go to Fiber Festival. Walk around, look at everybody, then go back through and purchase. Because how many times have you been buying something and you're like, oh, so pretty, and then you get like a booth down and you're like, oh, so pretty, and you get another booth down and you're out of cash, but that's so pretty too. That way you can make a sound decision. But 
I walked all through Rhinebeck. Not actually, because if you watch my Rhinebeck video, you'll realize that there was a whole section I didn't even know was there. And I missed all of like the other yarn companies that I'm sure I would have loved. But this one was right near the gate I came through and I, and I saw this skein and I was like in love with it. So this was my one, I called it a unicorn because I just bought one of it. I had no idea what I was gonna do with it, but I put it into this wonderful flat iron and I'm loving it so far. And the third color <clears throat> is this stunning one by uh, Honey Bee Knits. Let me hold that up. This was a gift from one of my wonderful viewers, Jennifer from Ohio. She is so sweet. And she sent it to me and I loved the colors. Look at this. Okay, let me get the little string so I can hold it up. Get a focus. Get, there we go. Look, it's got the yellows, oranges, pinks, and purples, but it's like all solid. There's no, and I really think, let me get, hi. <laughs> there it is. When they, when they come together, when I get to fade these together, I think it's going to be stunning. I'm super excited. So I think now that I have gotten past my first color and I, I've officially cut, see, here's my yellow tail. I've got to tuck it in still. I think I'm going to get going really great because I, I really, I love my knitted version, the Free Your Fade by Andrea Mowry. So I think I'm going to just love this crocheted one just as much. I just had to get my mojo going, you guys, and it took a while. But here we are in March, and I'm hoping to have it done by the end of April, maybe. Probably be too hot to wear. I'm gonna set this back here. I keep this little bin, which is backwards actually, but I throw my whips in there. Um, so let me see, whip oh, my next whip is in another bag by Kim of Chasing Acorns. This one has food trucks all over it, you guys. I saw this bag. This is a funny one. This one and one of the other bags I'm gonna show you in a minute and some bags Al got. We got the last time we were hanging out with Kim and we were at a yarn store and she was like, hey, psst, guys, I brought my bags. And of course, it would be rude to bring them into the store because, you know, we're shopping there. But when we left, we all went, the whole group of us that were there, we all go out to Kim's car and she opens up this trunk or her trunk and she's got this whole tote full of bags and we're all huddled around. And it was so funny because I'm like, people are, we're even Lansing. We're like in East Lansing. I'm like, people think this is like a drug deal or something. There's like five people digging through your trunk, giving you cash. Actually, we didn't pay with cash. Who pays with cash anymore? But anyways, <laughs> we didn't pay with cash. But it was so funny. I love you, Kim. I can't wait to hang out again, buy some more bags, all that good stuff, right? Anyhow. So the project in here is my Crimson Hooded Cardi. Um, I'll put a picture here. Crimson Hooded Cardi. Absolutely love it. It's stunning. As you know, I finished the back panel. It was amazing. You guys, when you get to the cabling, once you get it, like at first you're like, what? Is this written in Japanese? I don't understand this like at all. But no, no, once you get it, once you get it and it clicks, it's so addicting. You just want to go down and back, down and back, down and back, just to get through. Like, I want to see the next little. Anyway, so the back. So this week, I didn't do much. I did start the, I think this is the left front panel. Yes, this is the left front panel. And so if you guys saw on that picture, um, the front has a little bit of cabling too. You see, let me get it to cover my face and it will focus. There we go. So it's got regular stitching and then it goes into a beautiful crisscross. Um, cabling that will be like on the front of the sweater this is the bottom of it and I've only done one repeat this is one whole repeat I've got to do it I think 45 more times I don't remember but anyways it's so addicting you get going on it and I'm like I was like going in and going and then my husband's like um are you gonna cook dinner and I'm like one more row so he cooked dinner and then he's like um are you gonna eat dinner and I'm like no one more row and like, so then I finished the repeat and I'm like fine and then I didn't do any more because I didn't want to be stuck in the middle of a repeat but I'm gonna get cracking on this right now I love this so much you guys I would not not say that this is a um beginner crochet pattern this is definitely an advanced crochet pattern definitely an advanced crochet pattern but once you get the hang of it guys it's wonderful so I am using let's see do I have a piece of paper I do I have a piece of paper got another hook this is a furls furls streamline and this was their cookies and cream edition one I grab that that's the hook I'm using it is a 4.5 these are made out of resin 
polyurethane something like that you guys I'm, I'm drawing a complete blank i'm such an idiot today anyways that's not the point acrylic or, acrylic or something i'm not sure but they're stunning they're really great um and they're nice to hold like this little like whoop teardroppy shape here really does fit your hand i do prefer <laughs> these kind of like bubblies i guess it's just me but these are nice this was only like 15 dollars good deal and it's a furls furls are good so that's the hook i'm using nothing special going on there i love the pattern i cannot wait to get it done i'm probably gonna get it done it's gonna be june and it's gonna be like 400 degrees and i'm like never gonna wear the cardigan but i'll have it done and actually you guys so i had problem with the pattern um the hooks was supposed to be a 4.5 which is what i'm using i did my like first little bit it was huge it was massive then i went down a hook and it was still weird i went down another hook and went weird it just kept getting weirder in different ways so i ended up going back to the four or five and dropping down a size instead of dropping a hook the size for the back panel worked out spot on it is exactly i like I've held it up to me it fits perfect this side panel seems a little big but i know that the cardigan is supposed to cross in the front so i'm waiting till it's done a big comfy cardigan is never a bad thing, right guys? I mean, on cold nights, you just want to like curl up in your big cardigan. I know I do, so. Put that guy back in the whip bucket. The whip bucket's getting full. So, um, one more project. Then I've got like a, a, a design I'm working on. But anyways, this one is in the other bag I bought that day that we were looking like drug dealers in the back of Kim's car. <laughs> like bag. This one has llamas and cactuses and palm trees love this bag it's a little shorty like sock bag i know i know you guys do i have socks in here the answer to that is yes yes i do have socks in here isn't that crazy but not knitted socks these are crocheted socks and i'm gonna tell you why i'm not ready for knitted socks <laughs> here's my reasoning you like i want to do them on nine inch circulars and I'm super excited about that. But like to cast on, because I want to do toe up nine inch circulars. I know I've never even made socks before, but I've decided that that's the way I want to do it. You have to cast on other ways though. So I just, ha I'm not there yet. I don't have the supplies for it. So I'm going to get there though, because I was watching um, Hannah from the Cozy Cottage and she knit some adorable socks and I talked to her about what pattern she was using and how she was doing it. So I'm going to, I just got to get to the store to get the stuff I need. So I went online because I was like, I'm going to YarnCon, which we'll talk about here in a moment, guys. And I'm like, I have these awesome clear tennis shoes. <laughs> They're kind of like iridescent clear. And I was like, I, I can't go without a pair of socks I made if I have clear tennis shoes. That's just weird. So I looked for crocheted socks. And I found a lot of great patterns. What I did was look for patterns. And then I went on Instagram and looked at people like tags in those patterns to see like what their socks look like. And the socks I decided to go with. The name... Oh, there's tape on my pattern. <laughs> the name won me over, you guys. Look at this name. This is the name of the pattern. The Fabulous Socks. <laughs> it's a crocheted pattern. Look at how cute those are. And it's, it's called the Fabulous Socks. How could you not want to make that? I was like, totally in. I'm in. I'm using the hook. We're going to talk about the pattern here in a second, but I'm just going to go through and show you this. So I'm using the hook that they said, which is a uh, 3.5. This is, you guys will remember this if you've been with my channel any amount of time. Let me put this up so you can see. There it is. It's my beautiful touche crochet hooks that I have had made for me. Aren't they stunning? Again, another hook person I love. She does a lot of these with the metal tips and the wood body over it. Um, in general, I really love the solid wood that I get from Nelson's Wood. I really do. But when I do, and I'm going to say the word wrong, guys, don't shoot me. Ami, groomy, Amiga Garmi, whatever it is, I crochet super tight. And when I do, I'm afraid I'm going to break these. So these metal tipped ones are amazing. I make all my dowels with this hook I'm holding here in my hand. This is it. I love it. So this is the hook I'm using. And I'm using this yarn that my hubs bought me to, not this Valentine's past, but the last Valentine's Day for making socks. It's Premier Yarn wool free socks it is a 93 percent acrylic seven percent pbt I, I don't know but anyways put this up here see if it a so wool free sock it's this fun color look at all these like colors and the name of this color is i'll find it you guys color number eight 
Vegas Lights. That's the name. Vegas Lights. I've had this. I actually started loom knitting a sock because he bought me a lo sock loom too because I thought that was how I wanted to make socks. I did not want a sock loom. Okay. <laughs> I didn't. Now it belongs to the kids. And I'm going to show you what I've gotten done. Um, the pattern, it's written in UK terms, but um, it's not hard to... One... I don't really think there's anything in here that is confusing to figure out. So it is a paid for pattern, so I can't give it away, like just tell you. It's not that hard. But she does have three sizes, and she gives you a size chart for in centimeters, which you guys, it's easy to convert to inches if you're an American and we don't do centimeters, but it's okay. Um, small, medium, and large for the length of your foot and the circumference of your foot. Now that is important because in the pattern, when you start its toe up, when you start the toe, it's going to tell you to do a certain amount of stuff up until size small, then up for medium, and then up for large. Then it's going to tell you for the foot to do a certain amount of whatever for each size. Now, I measure my foot. Circumference-wise, it was a large, <laughs> but length, it was a small. <laughs> so, what I am doing is I followed the toe, which is what makes it rounded. For the large so I have enough stitches that go around my foot and I'm going to follow the length portion for the small so that um, my foot it's not too long because who wants a long droopy sock anyways all I did because I literally just cast this on you guys was the toe of one sock this is it but it's so adorable it got this cute adorable little pineapple sticker let me see if I can get it up here where you can see it if I cover my face it should work in theory like I said, the lighting sucks and it doesn't want to focus on it. Why won't it focus? Okay, let's try the white paper trick. That is our new trick, you guys. Stick it in front of white paper. Because then there's nothing. There it is. It focused on it. Now I could probably drop this and show you. There you go. It's kind of like just speckly. Nope, now it focused on my hand. <laughs> Stupid camera. Anyways, all I've made is a toe, you guys. This is it. I'm going to get working on these because... Yarn con and I want to be able to wear them, but they go. So, this literally took me five minutes. Like I'm not exaggerating. I'm not like, oh, it took me five minutes and it was li like literally thirty. No, I literally sat down and was like, whoop, done. The toe is done. Five minutes. That's it. That's all there was to it. So I know I can get through the foot on this in the heel. Super, super quick. Let me tuck this all back in here. I'm gonna show the pattern one more time. I had I just printed it off so I didn't fold it up. But if you look at the, it's got an interesting heel flat kind of gusset thing going you see the heel on that it's a little interesting how it's made so that was one of the other things that i was really intrigued about because usually on the pat usually it's like this whole portion and it's just this little portion kind of under the heel that's the thing i would definitely go check this out if you are having trouble finding this pattern go over to my ravelry page go to my projects it is in there under a whip hit it and you'll be able to find this I will fold this up in a second and tuck it into my teeny weeny sock bag, which I'm so glad I can use for socks because I'm actually making socks. And I already know if I love this sock, you guys, I'm probably going to start knitting socks and I don't need to do that. I've got so many things going on in my life, but I'm going to be addicted, addicted to knitting socks. Okay, so my next whip is actually a design I'm working on. So since I finished the design for my mystery cow, which we'll talk about in a second, I went back i had a shawl i designed for the fiber festival last year and i waited so long to design it that i actually kind of like i messed up the design like in the process but i just went ahead and finished that one so i could wear it and i'm finally getting back to it um it's in this bag look at the bag with the cats you guys is that focusing yes it is look at the cats aren't they the cutest so cute i love the cat bag and this is from deb at heavenly textiles she is on etsy she's also on um instagram go check her out guys this bag is amazing i love it so much you i'll link her down below too because i loved it um and the yarn i'm using ugh, let me find oh sorry guys this yarn i bought where which one is the cake that's attached that's the cake that's attached to the project i might as well get that one out so the hook i'm using i'm gonna borrow this paper from this other pattern hold this up <laughs> is another one of my touche crochet hooks this is a 3.75 hook 
I love it so, so, so much. Love my hook. And the yarn I'm using, I'm going to pull the tab out of the center. That's where I keep it. And you'll notice that this is wound into a cake. We'll talk about that here in two seconds after I show you. And get this little tag out. Um, I kind of ripped it. Let's see if we can get it up far enough for you to see. Come on. Oh, it's so annoying that it won't focus all of a sudden. I think it's the poor lighting in here. Okay, guys. It's Dragonfly Fibers. And this is her Pixie Base. It is uh, 430 yards. It is a fingering wash. It's super wash merino. This color is called District 12. Look at this. There we go. That's it. It's like a gray with a black halo. Love it. When I went to Rhinebeck this year, or last year, I was so excited to go to Rhinebeck. One of the things I was looking for was yarn to redo this shawl pattern. And this is what I picked. Because I the original one I did with um, a color called Victorious. Or no, yeah. Yeah, it was Victorious by um, my dear friends at Iron Wheel Farms. And I loved it, but it's real speckly. And some of the detail of the shawl got lost in all that speckle. So I wanted a semi-solid. And it's a V. It's an interesting shape. It's going to be like a long V and you guys, I don't know if it's going to pick up because it's horrible. It's not going to focus, you guys. Anyways, there's not much to this. There's only like five rows done on this. It's going to keep growing and get more and more detail. You guys, it is stunning. There's like little flecks of like dark black in there and lighter grays. I love it so much. And this yarn, it's a single ply, so it's real plump and squishy. And look at this cake. Ooh. We'll talk about the cake in a second. Actually... We'll talk about the cake now because that's it. That's all the whips I have right now, guys. So the cake, the reason I have a cake now is because one of my wonderful viewers sent me for my birthday, an early birthday present, a um, Stanwood yarn ball winder. Love it. And you guys, there is going to be a video of how to use that thing and the cheap, cheap, cheap Swift I bought. It was a super cheap Swift and it's a piece of garbage, but... That was my fault. I was being cheap. <laughs> I'm going to have a video coming out soon showing you guys how to use that and how it is, okay? And all the stuff about it. But that is that whip. We're going to set it right back here. We're going to set this little whip. Look at my whip bucket, you guys. This is ridiculous. It's just like overflowing. I need more whips, don't I? Right, honey? <laughs> should see Mr. Pineapple. He's like, cast on more stuff. It's totally cool. Okay, and guys, don't forget... This wonderful mermaid doll is up for sale in my store. And don't forget about this stuff. That's the March National Crochet Month giveaway that's going on here on the channel. Go over to that video. I'll tell you how to enter. All right. I've got my little list on my phone here. So I talked about my whips. Next, I want to talk to you guys about... You probably haven't noticed, or you might have. And some people won't get this on their phones, and some people will. Underneath my videos, there's like a little bar that shows some t-shirts and sweaters and stuff with logos and stuff on them by Teespring. Those are my designs. There's only a few on there right now and there is going to be more. Uh, I'm going to keep designing and putting stuff up there. So if you want to buy any sort of merchandise from there, that is mine, my designs, that sort of stuff. So if you want to support the channel that way, that would be wonderful. Um, if you can't, I totally get it, you guys. I just love the idea of designing t-shirts. So I went ahead and did it. So I have my Teespring store linked down below. Um, you get to order the shirt. It gets shipped directly to you. All that. It's wonderful. So please check that out. Um, and like I said, there's only a few designs up right now, but there's going to be more soon. I just haven't gotten around to doing it, which I need to do, right? I need to stop being lazy. So next I want to talk about Chicago. Um, next weekend, I get to go to Chicago. So I leave on, let's see. I leave on the 4th. No, 5th. I leave early morning the 5th. <laughs> early morning the 5th. And the 6th and the 7th in Chicago is Yarn Con. And I'm so excited to be going. I am going with my best friend, Al. Hi, Al, if you're watching. Um, we are having a girls weekend. Our hubbies are taking on the responsibility of the children. Please pray for them. Um, <laughs> I mean the kids, not the hubbies. No, I'm just kidding. Pray for them all. We are taking the train from Lansing, Michigan, all the way to Chicago. I'm super nervous. I've never been on a train. I might spaz out, you guys. It's going to be crazy. And then we are spending the whole weekend in Chicago and coming back late Monday night. We're going to hit Yarn Con. I'm going to go to a bunch of other places. It's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. If you are going to Yarn Con, please look for me. 
I will have a limited number of my buttons and stuff that I'll be giving away as like swag. It's going to be fun. I'm super excited to just go and hang out with Al and shop for yarn. I hope some of you are coming. I hope we get a chance to chit chat. Super excited. Super, super, super excited. I cannot talk about it enough. I think it's going to be a blast. If you have any suggestions on things I should check out whilst in Chicago, comment down below and let me know because Al has this whole list of like ridiculous, this is a ridiculous list. I mean, it's a good list out, but it's like a ridiculous, she has like, the, she, she knows like all these things she wants to do. And she writes me and she's like, do you have a list of things you want to do while we're in Chicago? And I'm like, yarn con? Like, <laughs> it's like, I want to go to the yarn festival and then there, I don't know, walk around and look at the pretty buildings. I like, I, I sound like an idiot. Like I have no idea what to do in Chicago, even though I got engaged at the Sheds Aquarium in Chicago. You think I would have like a list of things I want to do while I'm there, but I'm like, I want to look at the buildings and buy yarn. That's, that's what I, and she's like, I want to go to this museum and this museum and this place to eat and this, this. and I'm like, okay, this all sounds good. So if you guys can give me some ideas something to do so I don't look like the the blonde idiot that doesn't know anything about Chicago. Put that down below, okay? Help me out. Shh, don't tell Al. And if you're watching Al, pretend you don't know. Okay. Um, oh, so this goes along with Yarn Con. If you have not noticed, which I have and I haven't said nothing about, but I'm so excited. I have reached 15,000 subscribers and I am to the moon excited. I'm so, so, so excited. And I was going to rush right out and get something and then I was like, no, I'm going to YarnCon. And Al wrote and said, we should buy something at YarnCon. And I was like, you're right, we should totally. So we will be shopping at YarnCon for the 15,000 subscriber giveaway that will happen after YarnCon. There'll be a video talking all about it. Don't worry. So please don't think I didn't think of all you wonderful people who have sub... Ooh, sorry. Subscribe to the channel. I have. And on a second note to that, if you guys were here last year, you guys know that April is my birthday and I get a little excited about my birthday and I had a massive yarn giveaway. Well, I don't have a massive amount of yarn anymore because I've given it all away. So whilst in Chicago, I'm also going to be shopping for a small but tasteful, nice, expensive stuff sort of giveaway for my birthday. That will also be a giveaway happening. And then that also kind of rolls into the mystery cal that is starting April 1st, just in like a day or two. So you guys, don't worry. If you haven't gotten the pattern yet, it's it's fine. You can start a day late. You could even start a week or so late. You will be able to keep up. I purposely designed this shawl, one, to look stunning and amazing, which it does. And two, so that beginners can make something and not feel pressured and not feel like they have to like rush, 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 rush. It's not that bad, you guys. It's simple. You can do it. You will love it. But we are going to have that cal going on. So that will be going on over in the Ravelry group. There will be a chatter thread. And then there will be finished objects. But that thread won't open until that last week's clue comes out. Um, and also, we will. I will also be choosing a winner from Instagram. There will be a hashtag. I think it's it's my birthday cal. Or is it my it's my birthday shawl mcal? I don't remember what I said it was, but it is going to be right here on the screen. There it is, you guys. Uh, so get in on that. It's super easy. If you're, um, there's plenty, it's done with DK yarn. I can tell you that. There's lots of options for DK, you guys. You could totally check that out. So I'm looking at my little list. I think that is everything except for some mail I've gotten this week. Um, I do have two lovely bag makers that said they are going to donate to the MCAL. I'm not going to talk about them yet until the bag comes because I'm going to show you guys. It's going to be beautiful. So I think that's it. I've talked to you guys about my life. I mean, I'm I'm selling my four-bedroom house and I'm moving into a tiny camper. <laughs> Me and my husband and my three children and my two dogs and my cat. And <laughs> we're going to live in a camper and travel across North America. That's what we'll say. <laughs> I know you guys crazy but it's okay so i got two packages this week i don't remember what's what oh okay that's okay this one is from now i don't know if she wants me to say her name or not so i'm going to say the name she was the winner of february's i love you guys day giveaway her name was frenchy Flor florida frenchy florida frenchy florida oh you guys how did i forget that frenchy i'm so sorry <laughs> i don't even know where the name is right now frenchy you know what? I'm going to say your name. I'm going to mess it up. 
because it's French. And the reason, like, her whole Frenchy Florida thing is because she is a French woman who moved to Florida. Anyways, her name is Christelle? C-H-R-I-S-T-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Christelle? Christelle? You guys, I'm, I'm so sorry. Please don't hate me. I am really bad at pronouncing stuff. Like, super duper bad. I should have a grammar coach walking around with me all the time. Just all the time. Anyways... She won last month's giveaway, and she was so super sweet. She contacted me, and she asked me if she could send my kids and me a gift of shark's teeth. And I was like, what? Yeah, I want some weird random shark's teeth. That's awesome. I love weird stuff like this, you guys. So she sent each of my kids one of these cards. I'm going to hold it up. Hopefully it will focus this time. There we go. And it's got all these different shark's teeth listed on it. And it has a little baggie of actual shark's teeth right on the front. So there was one for each of the kids, which, oh my gosh, let me just tell you that the kids have been harassing me to hurry up and film this video because they want their shark's teeth. And then she was so sweet to include two little baggies of shark's teeth for me and Mr. Pineapple. I love this. I wondering like there's this one tooth in here that's a really big black kind of flat one you see it there i wonder if i could put a hole in that and turn it to a stitch marker i don't know what it is maybe it's it's probably this big one that says it's a i'm not even going to pronounce that because it's a weird name a megalodon maybe it's not i don't know but the i don't know I don't know, I'm not that intelligent, you guys, I'm going to be honest. But the shark's teeth are so cool. The kids each already picked a card and put their name on the back of these. So it's not even going to be like a guess of who gets what. They're going to take their cards here in two seconds. So actually, they're all right here. Here you go, Jace. This one's yours. Say thank you. Thank you. Starlet. Say thank you nice and loud so the camera picks it up. Thank you! Too loud. Bruce Wayne. Say it louder, I'll keep them. Thank you. There we go. Mr. Pineapple. Oh, thank you. There we go. Thank you so much. We are homeschoolers and the kids love this kind of stuff. They're going to spend tomorrow looking to, in like trying to identify their teeth. They're going to love it. So thank you so, so much. It's always so sweet when you guys think of me. Uh, and this next one is Leah from Leah Bradley from Australia, which is awesome. I can't believe somebody from Australia would bother sending me anything. But she did. She sent me a lovely, lovely letter. With, look at this card, you guys. It's got cherry blossoms on it. So cute. That will go in my card pile. And it had these, look at these sticky pads. There's a pineapple, no pineapple, flamingo, and a shell. I love sticky notes. She sent those. And then she sent two wonderful little skeins of cotton yarn to put in my giveaway. So this will be <laughs> part of the prizes. It is a wonderful four-ply cotton, which I think... I think that means it's a fingering weight. It's really, really thin. It's 100% cotton. It's this lovely, let's see, do they have names on the colors? Grahams, do, 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 do. Color gray. <laughs> that was really hard. Color marine. <laughs> so, but they're so pretty. I love them together. You guys, look at that. That's stunning. Thank you so much, Leah. I will definitely put these into the giveaway. I will definitely use my sticky notes. I super appreciate it. Well, I think that is it, you guys. Like I said, Get into the MCAL. You guys will love it. If you don't have DK yarn, you can do it with worsted. It's just going to be much bigger. Okay. <laughs> like much bigger. So, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Is that all Mr. Pineapple? He's my manager and he's really bad. He didn't remember nothing. <laughs> Useless. We keep him around because he's pretty. But anyways, we got to get out of here because now it's time to talk about shark's teeth with the children. So I will talk to you all later. Bye.